I wanted very much to be an NBC page because I knew that was the great jumping off job for people. Um, I didn't have it formed in my head to be a writer. I just only wanted to be in sh around show business. I mean, I, I loved acting. I wanted to be an actor. I was told by my parents, my mother in particular, uh, every Sunday morning, there were no parts for covered actors. No parts. No parts at all. You're wasting your time. Um, and any ancillary kind of you know, writers, you know, it's a waste of time. But I was determined. I was, like many other people, influenced by the Dick Van Dyke Show. I love the Dick Van Dyke Show. I wanted to, I mean, I one, 116 Body Men a Road, which I think was Carl Ryan's real address in Rochelle. But I wanted that. I wanted my Laura Petri too. And that's what I began to, to, you know, between that, watching Ed Sullivan, you know, one of the few things we did as a family, and watching Alan King and Joan Rivers and Tony Fields and Flip Wilson and Richard Pryor, um, but mainly Alan King and Joan Rivers. I just loved them. I just loved them. And I, when she was on the show, I began to think, well, I can, maybe I can do this. You know, maybe I can try writing jokes. And the head writer of The Tonight Show was a man named uh, Marshall Brickman, who has written, among other things, he co-wrote several of the other movies. Um, uh, oh God, Take the Money and Run, Annie Hall, Manhattan, and most recently, uh, uh, scored big, writing the book for the show Jersey Boys and the, uh, the movie as well. And again, this is the kind of, you know, because I was not in any way made to feel fearful of aggressive behavior, around my people or, or, you know, I didn't feel that there was a bubble or a glass ceiling of how far I could reach. Uh, I would think nothing of going up to the offices and asking Marshall for, you know, sample monologues and just talking, you know. And I, I mean, I remember one day I, I did it at 3.30 and I walked in and his assistant, Donis Gold, like, you know, I couldn't keep him away. I, you know, I just, I'm sorry, Marshall. And I said, uh, could I get another monologue? And he said, oh, okay, okay. And then he left and I, as, 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 as why is he so upset uh, that Marshall collects the monologues from the other writers at 3.30 so that he could then put it together to get to Johnny. Oh, I'm sorry, but you know, okay, sorry, <laughs> my bad. But I mean, I, I remember this with the Yankees and people on, at NBC too. I don't think they'd ever seen anybody in my, with my race, with my balls. I, and I, I really had no idea until later on that this was inappropriate. So did you go up, up to Joan Rivers and ask her if you could... I asked her head writer, and uh, she gave me a topic sheet. You know, she was, you know, impressed by me as well. Um, Joan, you know, topics like, you know, dumb dogs, uh, dumb husbands. Um, I hate this because, but... Uh, and he would write a joke, and he would uh, send them in. And um, one night, I've been running for about three or four months, and I mean, if I didn't need the money for food, I would have kept my first check for seven bucks um, uh, as proof that, uh, but I didn't, but uh, uh, this one week, uh, I'd written several jokes that she actually had bought, and she was hosting this night show. And so she had one joke in the model that I wrote, um, I'll just paraphrase it, you know, she said, you know, last week uh, I was in Saks Fifth Avenue and a woman said to me, uh, you were in the bathroom at Saks Fifth Avenue at 3.30 last Tuesday. And she was, how the hell did you know that? And the woman says, I never, I never forget a shoe. Um, it got the same kind of reaction, like boo-boos, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm, it's over with them. It, 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 it's over. And then on the panel, during the panel, she's talking to somebody and she did a dumb, a dumb dog joke, which I wrote. My dog is so dumb, it, it tried to make a hush puppy. It got applause, and I retained, thank God. But this is what the, the writers of the Tonight Show live by, because they don't even know. Um, I don't know if it's true uh, now, but it was true back then. Uh, you wrote your mom walks, you turn in your 12, 15 jokes, and you wouldn't know until the cue cards came out. And you look, and you and it's like, oh, that's not God, that's not that's my, so I'm going to play part of my jokes. And they called it the writer's office's motels because people would just come and go, come and go. There are a few who lasted a little while who could really nail Johnny. And, uh, and then I went on to write for Letterman, and you know, because they were the best, uh, Mike Berry and Jim O'Holland. And I got to know both of them.